King and Sandbox. I didn't click on that. Although this is better than a stupid zombie game mode. So I just tried playing that on... Or I just played... Oh, God. I just tried playing the zombie apocalypse game mode that is in this game. And it's... I don't like it. Because I don't know how you get vehicles out that quickly. And the rounds start too quickly. The zombies move faster than you, if not just as fast. Did I say that correctly? Zombies move faster than you? No, they move as fast as you, if not faster! This thing is of the sucky turning. Oh my gosh! Ooh! Ooh! I don't really want to be driving this thing next to canyons, because it, if you miss a turn, this thing sucks. Okay, well, I found out how to turn the headlights on. Oh, Drift Nation! I don't know what we just lost there. What was that? Ooh! About to find out. I still didn't find out. I found the slow motion button. That's pretty neat. I also found the first person button. Ooh, you know what I want to do? Is I want to turn right, if you can allow me to do that. What car has steering that has sound like that? That's not what I wanted to do. I don't understand this game. Well, I was going to do a test against Bumblebee versus that car. But I'd rather not, considering this car is looks to be of early access. It doesn't have any sound, so it's probably an electric bumblebee, which no one likes. And it also has crappy turning, which no one likes. Look what I found you can do. You can open the trunks and stuff. Ooh, that's a bit vertical. It actually has an engine. I mean, it's... It's kind of a weird engine, but it has an engine. So instead of using Bumblebee against uh, whatever that car is, we're going to use a Plymouth Cuda against that car. And hopefully this will actually have some uh, impact because it's up against a, a rock. So Not really. I mean, it's kind of realistic to what old cars would react to. Other than uh, the roof flying off. But we just made it a convertible, that's all. If the tire isn't flat, that actually looks kind of nice. Yeah, I just made the Batmobile. Alright, so we'll just see how it reacts to this uh, rock, and then we'll switch back over to that literally nothing. Oh crap, the Cuda is running away, no! I must have left it in reverse. Come here! Okay, I got it. Well, I'm gonna go down here further. This thing is really nice! Props to whoever made this thing, and props to whoever designed this game, because it looks great. Plus, the damage is awesome. I mean, it's Legos. If you've owned Legos and you've never wanted to destroy them in, like, a very cinematic way, w did you ever really have Legos? Okay, we're coming in hot, Darebot. Oh, we're not even gonna hit her, Darebot. Just a little tap on the back, and then nothing. Well, that was anticlimactic. I don't think they really proportion these building sizes correctly with the cars. Uh-oh. Something just snapped. Okay, so if you've ever seen Highway Through Hell, this probably looks a bit familiar to you. This is Jamie's wrecker, big wrecker thing. And I, I'm tired of using little tiny cars against each other. I think I just, yeah, I just popped the tire. Well... This thing is a bit tougher in real life than it is in this game, but that's okay, because it's not going to be used for anything tough, really. Oh! Oh my god! I didn't know there was explosions in this game! Holy cow! Let's get out and survey the damage. Honestly, that probably hurt. Is that a Westliner truck? Is that what the W is? Oh my gosh, can I really... I can pick up each individual block... Oh, I think I just duped it. Oh, no, I just picked up a... No. Okay, okay I want to... I want to drop this. All the blocks burn. Oh, this game is awesome. Good job, developers. You did a really nice job with this. Especially with making it... Uh, Steam Workshop friendly. So now let's see what a uh, Dodge... Uh, Hemi? Is that literally what this thing was just called? Was a Dodge Hemi? As against a big Russian tanky duke! So this is the Mav, which I believe is a vehicle in spin tires. Maybe the original spin tires, because... Or maybe a spin tires version that I don't have, because this doesn't really look all that familiar from Mudrunner. 
but let's see how it compares to a Hemi to the back. Probably gonna blow up again, huh? Nope. Oh, please eat the back end. Aw. That's not what I wanted to happen. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> we lost two wheels. You don't even need the two front wheels. Or was there four? No, it looks like there was only two. There's probably one in the back of that car now. Hold on, would I be able to help this thing out? I mean, by help, I mean move it. Oh. So, no, not really. So this thing is, a, it's about as armored as the actual thing in spin tires. It looks big, beefy, and bulky, but when you drive it and you find out it's crappy, you find out it's crappy. There is one flaw with this game. I don't like the running. Or, I don't like the running with a controller. You have to hold down the analog stick. That, I don't like that. I like, what happened? Give me this. There we go. So, like in Call of Duty, you press down the analog stick, and then you just hold the analog stick forward. In this game, you have to continuously hold down the analog stick for it to go. I, I don't prefer that. I know what you're thinking. This car is not meant for this kind of road or weather at all. And you'd be correct. That's what makes this so cool. Is this actually functional? Oh my gosh. It's actually functional? Oh. Disengage. What? I'm not... Oh! Oh, where can I hook this onto? Can I hook it onto anything? Can I hook it on... Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, I want... Okay, give me the hook. Give me the hook. I don't know... Pick up? No. I don't want to pick it up. I want to... Maybe you need special vehicles to hook it onto something, or maybe... No, I can't throw it in the, the driver's seat. Because there's nothing to really hook this onto over here. That's unfortunate. I wanted to tow it. But anyways, let's see what this car, whatever this car is, has against a Ford dump truck. I apologize for the rainy weather and the darkness of day, but I'm not sure how to change the weather and or time. So we're just going to have to deal with what we have right now until I figure out or maybe get a mod to fix that. I'm not sure how you do that. Oh! It is so satisfying watching all those parts go away and not having to clean up any of them. That wasn't really that satisfying though. So let's see what that car has against. You know what? I didn't give Bumblebee a fair chance. It may be an early development but you can't disengage it just from early development so let's see what Bumblebee has against that sports car well this is going to be really slow because the acceleration on this thing is crap at least the destruction is nice dang that entire door revolve yeah that door is similar to the one that i have on my uh my moc sports car oh my gosh look at all the parts i'm surprised my game isn't lagging by now because the graphics aren't horrible in this game uh oh the winch is off i'm not sure if i said let's see what happens if or if the okay can i hook you to there? No. I want to hook you to there. Yeah, I did a thing. I hooked it to the thing. Good lord, this thing has a lot of hook points. I'm not sure if I said let's see what those have against this. So this is a GMC top kick, I believe is what it's called. This thing does not have that great of acceleration, but it's a big boy, all right? Oh my gosh! It has backfire. That's amazing! Oh, this is laggy. I think my game is finally starting not being able to handle it. That made no sense. This game is incredible. I love it so much. So really, that's not as much damage as I thought it would cause. How much on the... It has barely any damage. I don't know if it has any. There might have been a bumper underneath the, the logo, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, actually, yeah, there is damage. There probably was a bumper because that winch is now off. But still, this thing is still drivable. Ex extremely drivable. That scared me. We're coming in for a second hit. I don't know if we can get more destructive than that. Oh. Oh my gosh. We're eating the bumblebee. Actually, this was a Transformer 2, wasn't it? The GMC top pick? I believe that was a Transformer. Like Ironsides or something like that? I think so. 
I'm not sure which transformer. Oh my gosh, look at all the components I could kick up. BR City. One. Oh, Iron Hide. Yeah, that was a transformer. I remembered a thing from like years ago. Are you proud, Mom?